Frankie debuted on the 14th of June 2018. Finally, another Straw Hat Pirate was represented as a Sugo Fest exclusive character. This character itself debuted on a Treasure Map Sugo Fest alongside two other Treasure Map Rev recruits, first of which being Twin Blade Thatch, Soul Mourned by Flame and the second being Blackbeard, the darkness that challenges the sun. And the Sugo Fest exclusive character of the batch was the second character in the game to introduce a captain action. When activated, it would apply differing damage multipliers depending on the character's given class. His special would also prove useful too as it provided an attack boost and also some orb shuffling mechanics. Introducing Frankie, super weapon from a future land. In this series, we'll be traveling back in time to experience some of the older Sugo Fest exclusive characters in their prime, aiming to show just what it was like to use these characters on their debut. I hope you enjoy the video, and without further ado, let's enter the Legends of OPTC. So thank you very much for checking out yet another episode of the Legends of OPTC and today we're having a look at yet another character that had actually debuted on a treasure map Sugo Fest. So this is during the the uh, treasure map versus Ace which was on release was considered to be one of the best free to play characters in the entire game. Great free to play captain, amazing special ability and still can be used in a, in a couple of different scenarios in today's day and age. Like Ace is a very very solid unit. Now along with that we actually had a brand new Blackbeard character and also a brand new um, Thatch character. Um, these two characters obviously were the boosters for the Ace event along with Frankie. So that's pretty much it. You know, it's very, very basic. You know, no other real crazy batch characters alongside this. But let's go ahead and just start talking about Frankie. Give my thoughts and opinions on this guy. So quick shooter free spirit for his class and type combinations. Captain ability was very interesting. This was um, one of the first opportunities, aside from Sanji, because Sanji was also the same kind of thing, where we had a captain action. So Frankie said that if you had six characters on the crew that were fighter slasher shooter or striker So every character on your team needed to have one of those classes If you did do that then it boosts the attack of all characters by three times and give them a 1.3 health boost And that's basically it. So it's a pretty, you know, it's a pretty bad captain ability just in general But then you've got the captain action which you swipe downwards to activate and it says Frankie will bring the entire crew into general Frankie for one turn and becomes immune to blow away and also during this turn boost the attack of all characters by four times instead and reduce damage taken by 38 percent so with this captain action captain ability he's obviously very very good however with that there's also an additional effect that's going to be activated depending on what class of character you have attacking whilst you're in the general frankie form so whilst activating the captain action if you attack with a fighter they get a 1.25 times damage bonus so they actually hit incredibly hard if you run fighter characters on his crew. If you use a slasher character, it does full damage to the targeted enemy, but then 10% of the damage is also dealt to enemies in the same row. So you've got like two rows of enemies, you know, you can have three in the front row, three in the back row. So slashes will deal damage, 10% damage to enemies in the same row. So very, very odd uh, kind of scenario there for the slashes. Then you got strikers. So striker characters only deal half the damage that they normally do, but it's to all enemies on the stage. So that's pretty awesome. And you can use that in a couple of interesting scenarios and hopefully we get to abuse that a little bit today. And if you use a shooter character, it does 75% of the damage to the targeted enemy and then half the damage to all other enemies on the stage. So yeah, it's, it's interesting. If you want to do huge single target, Get damage you want to run mainly fighter characters uh, remember that frankie himself is a shooter so this is the effect that will happen when you attack with frankie specifically and you got the slashes and strikers which also do a little bit less damage but remember that the multiplier of the captain is a four times boost and not the three x boost in normal in normal functionality so you know the damage is still going to be better when you activate the uh the actual captain action effect for for some of these you know halving the damage but to hit all enemies that probably is the worst effect unless if you really have to get around a lot of multiple 
mobs, but in a lot of cases, striker characters with Frankie were not, not ideal, that's for damn sure. Um, so let's go ahead and have a look at the special ability. So it's a 10% health cut to all enemies, and it also randomizes non-matching slots, including block slots. So if you have a matching slot, it will keep it, but anything else is shuffled away, and then boost the attack of fighter, slasher, shooter, and strikers by two times for one turn. So he's his crew's dedicated attack booster, but you do have to be very careful because he does do the orb shuffling, which can be a little bit annoying. He is a health dealing uh, special, which is, you know, it wasn't really that big of a deal back then, but nowadays, considering support effects are so focused on damage dealing supports, uh, damage dealing specials, then uh, then this makes a lot of sense. So this is good. Um, but overall, um, a pretty interesting unit. Didn't really see too much play on release, but of course, with recent discoveries, we have found that the captain action of General Frankie, when you activate an ability... Um, when he's in his General Frankie form, or when you attack in his General Frankie form, it actually bypasses damage limiter, which is pretty bizarre because no other character in the in the game can actually do that. So Frankie's really lucky in that sense that he has a really crazy innate ability to just bypass damage limiter, which is not a very common debuff, but if it's there, Frankie's your go-to. So in terms of the different content that we have, we have three different pieces. We've got Clash Luchi, Clash Senor Pink, as well as the Colosseum versus Pedro, which I think is going to be the most difficult of the content that we'll showcase today. So we're going to go ahead and spin that wheel, and I'm very, very, very interested to see what we're going to be using Frankie and how, how, like how we can actually use him in content today. And we've got Clash Senor Pink, which is actually pretty fitting. You know, you got Frankie versus Senor Pink. I think that's actually pretty fitting. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Clash Senor Pink with uh, Legend Frankie. Let's go ahead and hop over to it. We're here in game now with my man, General Frankie. Straw Hat Pirates Shipwright, the General Frankie he developed, hides many never-before-seen tricks within. However, the Frankie cannon used to shoot down airborne enemies has to be used manually. The man himself, a lot of people really loved this character when he first came out. He was a fan favorite with really unique mechanics, and this was the first, obviously, Frankie legend in the game, uh, with some very, very unique things going on. We've already talked about what he already does, but here we have Frankie with max limit break with max special 200 cotton candies he is good to go in terms of the team that we have today it's going to be this one right here so this involves a pretty basic team actually senior pink wasn't a very difficult raid however i think frankie is going to be like the perfect way to showcase all of his abilities in one video this is going to be really really good so just going through the team composition here we have bellamy who's going to be a great orb booster for our team frankie of course is our attack booster but the thing is is that on the final boss stage if you activate any orb changing special um he shuffles your slots back to sign in and the really good thing about bellamy is that he treats sign in beneficial to the whole team so that's going to be fantastic we have the kizaru to give us some cooldown reduction he's just kind of a filler unit now we do also have diamante now diamante is kind of important because we need some type of way to get around resilience and he seems to be like the best unit i mean you could also use raid Barto, but Barto has a really high cooldown diamante also has a very high cooldown there's not really much we can do regarding that and then we've got lao g who is just a really nice unit that can give us essentially a full board of slots so it's a pretty basic team so we are using just the regular thousand sunny ship which can also help with this content but frankie's uh, captain action is going to be the main way that we're clearing out mobs and you guys will be seeing that throughout this video today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So shout out to the Lord Shura for providing his General Frankie front captain. That's going to be very, very nice to have. So we have the squad ready to go. Get to use Frankie again, which is awesome. Of course, we have used him somewhat recently. I have used him in uh, in a couple of the Colosseums or Arena, should I say, that had come out just as a hybrid style captain due to the fact that he can just bypass the enemy's damage limiter, which is very valuable. But let's see how he actually goes with double Frankie in this scenario here. So I, I believe that this content was kind of built for Frankie. I don't actually remember the exact release of the Senor Pink Raid, but uh, th this this is just a perfect unit here um, for, for this content. So, of course, we do need to do a bit of stall first to ensure that we get the, the specials that we need. Gonna just uh, do some manual targeting here, just to make sure we kill those mobs. But I'm really excited to show the, the turns we actually activate the uh, General Frankie effect, because remember, the fighter characters hit really, really hard with single target damage. But essentially, all the other characters, slashes, strikers, and shooters, all have like AoE-based attacks, so we're definitely gonna be showcasing that. 
Uh, let's clear out this guy right here. We could probably wait for him, but it's okay. So Kizaru is going to get his special charged. We can use that to reduce the cooldowns of both fighters and shooter characters. And the good thing about that is, is that all the team is fighter and shooters except for Diamante. So unfortunately, we do have to stall for him naturally. And we do need Diamante when we reach the final boss stage. That is going to be kind of important. So as long as that's ready to go, everything else will be ready alongside it. Because uh, Diamante has the highest cooldown. Uh, but it's fine. And of course, the Thousand Sunny was also a, a really popular ship for this content as well, because there are like, uh, there's like two mini bosses, or there's two main bosses. There's one on Battle 4 and one on Battle 5, and there's like five mobs that surround Senor Pink on Battle 4 and 5. So the Thousand Sunny ship was uh, definitely very popular for this content, just due to the fact that you could use the special to wave clear those mobs around. So let's go ahead and move on. So we've got six turns of cooldown on Diamante left. It's going to go down to five. Uh, I think we can pretty much move on. I feel pretty comfortable moving on here, actually. Shouldn't have to stall any longer. Alright, Frankie Fireborder! <laughs> Battle 3, we've got the Seahorse, we can deal with that, that's no problems. Remember, as we said, we just need Diamante for the final stage, so he is actually going to be ready, so that's perfect. Okay, and then we can go ahead and move on after this turn right here. Let's just go ahead and move on. We don't have to worry about matching slots because we're going to be using, um, what's his face? Lao G to give us G slots instead. So here's Battle 4. So here's one of those mini boss stages we we're talking about. So this is really interesting in that our captain's cooldown is given cooldown. Our captain's special is given cooldown, but the friend captain has special reverse. So pretty weird scenario there, but we're not really going to have to worry about that. So first thing is first, let's go ahead and activate the special ability of Lao G, which is going to give us a full board of G slots, which if you guys don't know, matching slots give you a two times damage boost g slots give you a 1.5 times damage boost so they're not as good as matching slots but they're still pretty decent and i actually did a lot of uh, a lot of damage too that was pretty good let's go ahead and use the captain action of frankie so it's gonna allow us to go inside general frankie where we get all of those buffed effects where fighters hit really hard and also you got shooters slashes and strikers doing the aoe damage the the general frankie docking so you can see all of our characters are inside General Frankie, and you see the little icons on the side, we can actually tap and hold on them to see the abilities of, or well, actually like the, the stats of our characters, which is still nice, so you still have the accessibility to actually view all of your character's information. But from here, we can just go ahead and do our attacks, and remember, fighter characters do single target damage, but we'll, we'll attack with General Frankie, and you see that the mob characters will actually get knocked out, so it's going to be very, very interesting to show off. Here we go, let's do it. Look at that. Very cool. And then I like the little chopper icon that appears when you hit all of your perfects for the turn. Chopper says, you know, good job. You did a really good job, okay? And we're going to see it once again as we hear the, uh, the the final boss stage, Battle 5 versus Senor Pink. So as we said, he does shuffle our slots. Um, and if we do any other orb changing effects, he's actually going to apply the same slot change. So that's fine. We've got Bellamy to deal with that. So first things first, let's go ahead and use the Diamante, which delays them, but also does the end of turn damage, which is going to be important because uh, Senor Pink himself does have resilience, which is annoying to deal with. Um, let's go ahead and use the Frankie special ability, which does a 10% health cut and also gives the orb shuffle, which will be changed back, but also the two times attack boost to fighters, slashes, shooters, and strikers characters which is our entire team you need to make sure that your team has all of those characters on it and now here we go with senior pink is going to go shuffle those slots back not a problem that's fine and then we'll go ahead and use the bellamy special which does a 10 percent health cut makes cyan in beneficial for one turn and we get the orb boosting effect so at this point here we are good to go full board of matching slots attack boost orb boost and the end of turn damage and here we go with uh, the Captain Action General Frankie. We needed to make sure that we did that, because if we didn't do that, I mean, maybe the end of turn damage of Diamante probably would have still knocked them out, but this is going to be awesome just to see how General Frankie can just knock out the entire enemy, which is good. All right, so here we go with the final turn. I'm so pumped for this. Let's get it. And then Chopper says, good job, and then we go with the end of turn, but he is going to go ahead and do a death hit. Uh, but I believe that the death hit isn't too bad. 
yeah, and we tank it very, very comfortably with Frankie. And remember, when you do activate the Captain action, you do get damage reduction. I think it's like a 38% damage reduction with this Captain ability. So we didn't really have to worry about that anyway. But there we go. We actually did it with Frankie. Such an awesome character. Really, really cool design. Um, unfortunately, didn't see too much play, but it's still a lot of fun to go ahead and use. So that's going to bring about an end of yet another Legends of OPTC video. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. And next week's episode is going to be pretty fun as we go ahead and check out yet another Straw Hat Legend. Legend Robin makes her appearance for the first time in One Piece Treasure Cruise. And uh, very pumped for that one too. You know, the cerebral based legend. A lot of people were massive fans of that character upon release. So hopefully we can do her justice in next week's episode. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video